Hi, I'm Adrian Bowles of Storm Insights. I caught up with Carl Dubler and Birgit Starmans of SAP at TechEd in Las Vegas. Uh, fresh from the show floor, they gave me the rundown on simple finance. Here are some of the highlights of that conversation. Uh, the customers are really looking for an explanation um, because there are a lot of announcements around simple finance and there's a lot of confusion about what that means. So the first question that comes up is that only a cloud solution? No, it's not. There are, we can deploy it on-premise, we can deploy it uh, in the cloud, and we can also deploy it as a hybrid model. So that's the first thing. But with the power of SAP HANA, we're able to re-architect some of the solution. And I focus more on the finance audience. So in my case, they want to know, how is this going to help finance? Because a lot of finance professionals come in and say, well, it, it's nice that it's faster, but who cares? So then you have to come up with pretty real life scenarios. So one example is profitability analysis. If there is a lot of data in there, sometimes customers will actually have to run those reports overnight. And then the next day they'll look at something, find something else that needs analysis. And then after that, we'll have to run another report overnight. So we're, we're talking about not just accelerating from, you know, 10 hours to one hour, one hour to two minutes. We we're actually talking about saving days and allowing for, for, for continuous processes. Um, the other major thing is finance wants to be a more strategic partner to the business. They don't care as much about the technology, but what can they do now that they have faster systems and they're saving some time? So what they can do is actually evaluate business options to help the business strategically plan what they want to do. So a great example is I have 20 business options. Should I buy a company? Should I build my own product? Should I expand into a certain geography? Am I going to cannibalize another one of my products? In that case, in previous times, there was a lot of Excel and there was a lot of manual data manipulation that was going on. And if you had 20 scenarios, you probably didn't have time to evaluate all 20 of them. So finance would actually do a pre-selection of, well, I only have time to evaluate these five. Now with the power of HANA, they can actually evaluate all of them. And through simulations, what if analysis, predictive analysis, they're now able to actually play with the different options and give the executives and CEO uh, the idea of what are the financial impacts of these decisions, and they can model all of that. A lot of people come up and, and say to me, what exactly am I getting when I do simple finance? What exactly am I doing? What exactly is the result? Tell me from a technical perspective what's happening. And I've been telling these customers, uh, the, the important thing to remember with simple finance is we're not, we didn't create a brand new, different product that they have to migrate to. Instead, what, what, we, what we've done is we've taken uh, our global financial solution and we've re-architected it on our modern in-memory platform, which is HANA. And so what happens as a result of that is we're taking uh, finance and we're basically uh, giving it the power of real, a real-time in-memory platform. So some of the things that um, might have been problematic in the past, like we mentioned manual reconciliation or getting at data very quickly, uh, those things have been, that complexity in doing that has been reduced uh, because we can basically take uh, the data that we used to use for um, analysis and the data that we used for transactions, which were redundant data stores, and actually combine them together. That greatly simplifies what IT has to do when it comes to supporting their business, when it comes to supporting their users, and also when it comes to running their own systems. If we can simplify things by combining them together in one data store, uh, it makes it a lot easier to maintain those systems and a lot cheaper to store them as well. There's also the aspect of usability, because a lot of times when finance needed something in the report, they had to go to IT and say, I want to add this field, or I want you to take this field away. So IT was managing a lot of variants of financial reports. Right now, with the experience of SAP Fiori, we're actually designing for mobility first. We get the same experience in a browser as we do on a tablet, and finance can actually quote unquote configure their own reports. So HANA basically provides KPIs, so you get a nice overview of say day sales outstanding or operating margin or liquidity forecasts. And you can then drill down and then every user can actually put their own parameters around it. I want to see the receivables outstanding for the top 20 customers that are overdue for 45 days, for 60 days, for 90 days. And IT doesn't need to be involved in that anymore. And every user, every financial user can pretty much provide self-service and get that information exactly the way that they want to see it. Mm -hmm. In fact, just before we came here uh, to speak with you, I was talking to a customer at our booth over here in TechEd, and they came to me and said, well, how does, how does simple finance work for us? Because we have a problem with users. We have a lot of turnover. 
with our user base where we have people coming in that don't know anything about what the previous person might have done with reporting and so they have to come to IT and we have to kind of you know rebuild everything for these new reporting requirements that they come in with so when we put finance on HANA when we put it onto one data store we get rid of the layers of uh, summaries we get rid of layers of aggregates of indices get rid of all that and we operate finance directly on the detailed data and HANA will on the fly generate the summaries that we need in order to get good reporting out of the system. What this does is it allows this company then will be able to direct their users to a role-based dashboard. So if they're from receivables, for example, they'll go in and they'll see a receivables view. They'll find maybe a trouble area with receivables, click on it, and continue to drill down, and then go all the way down to line item detail without having to go back to IT and say, how do I get to the line item detail? How do I get to uh, a summary of last year versus this year? Um, and they won't have to like do what a lot of people do now, which is to extract all of this into a spreadsheet and try to manipulate it in a spreadsheet to get what they want. So by placing finance onto HANA, one data store at the detail level, it's going to allow this company to basically uh, to send their users to the data and know with confidence that everything they need is going to be right, going to be right there, and they don't have to spend any time trying to understand the requirements and then build something to help that user, the user is going to be able to go off and do what they need to do on their own. And about the continuous processes also, it's not just about the reporting. A lot of companies don't want to wait until after the books are closed. So instead of having to wait until the very end, because a lot of these batch processes were running overnight, being able to run those things at any point in time. So almost doing a soft close so that they can better make decisions, so they can actually do that throughout the month. There are some processes that were really high resource intensive. For example, top-down allocations and profitability analysis, intercompany reconciliation, goods receipt, invoice receipt um, matching. Those are processes that t take a lot of time at the, p at the end of the month, but being able to do that throughout the month continuously, finance has a better idea of what the what the financial picture is of the company and they can make better decisions based off of that.